everyone, welcome back to France. Yes, it is February now, and things are a little bit snowy, so we're not going to be getting too much work done today. However, there are a couple of tasks that we have to do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you some new uh, things that have happened. As you can see from the money in the top right corner there, we are actually in the negative, but that's not going to last too long. Uh, part of the reason for that is we have had uh, planted slash installed um, four brand new apple trees. Yes, they will be uh, producing apples for us. We've got water in them already and they are well on the way to producing apples, which we can use either to sell straight off or um, we can use them in the yogurt production if we get that, or uh, well not if, but when we get that going. Uh, and there are some other productions that use them as well that we don't have. Oh, it looks like our coffee bean place has run out of uh, water again. Yeah, I put a little bit in there, but apparently it's not enough. Now, obviously there's no contracts going at the moment, so we don't have anything to do there in terms of money. Uh, but yeah, so we got these three things installed. And we had a little bit of money left over, but it appears all the uh, running costs of everything put us a bit in the red. But uh, that is not a problem. We are going to fix that almost immediately now. Uh, so, yes, what is happening? Uh, the field that we purchased over here, this one, I'm not quite sure why the fence has gone away. There we go. Uh, yeah, this um, grass field that we actually did for a contract and then purchased afterwards. Uh, we're going to turn this eventually into, um, uh, what's the other stuff? Uh, 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 why can I not remember the name of it? It's like clover, but different. <laughs> Run across the road here quick and we'll... Alfalfa, that's what it's called. So yeah, we will be uh, getting some of that planted eventually. Uh, the cows are going to need a little bit more hay. Uh, if I whiz down here, yeah, their food is getting quite low, but we've got to an, almost 3,000 litres of milk and a fair old bit of slurry going on as well so we may be looking in the future to invest in some slurry spreading equipment oh yes so uh, what are we doing today uh, let's open this door and find out aha yes our little transit van truck thing is here and loaded up to the gills with uh, some very heavy coffee beans and some delicious cucumbers. So our initial thing, cracky, you can see how heavy that is. It's pushing the rear suspension right down. This is going to be quite the job to get driven all the way down to sell. So we're going to be very, very careful with it. Go nice and slow. Hopefully once we get off of the uh, packed up snow there we will be okay don't hit me please I can't stop <laughs> oh uh, yeah so hopefully we'll sell this oh well, not hopefully hopefully we'll get a pretty solid price for this uh, I was keeping an eye on it and I want to say um, February was showing up as a good price I think for the cucumbers and possibly for the coffee as well Yeah, we've got a bit of a... that's weird. I wonder why there's a square of field that didn't get snow on it. Who knows? But yeah, this thing is wobbling around like a proper thing. I don't want to turn too sharply because I don't think the suspension could actually handle it. I'm <laughs> just going to follow along. Cracky, that 2CV took off like a rocket. What in the world? I'm pretty sure their engines don't actually go that fast. <laughs> Unless that one's got a turbo in it. But yeah, that thing took off like a stabbed rat. <laughs> oh, and there's the train. I'm going to start sliding down now. And hopefully I'll make it in time. Stop. There we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 8,000 litres of coffee beans is quite heavy. But luckily we are also quite near the uh, sell point now, so hopefully this little bit of torturous driving will be over presently, and in a good way. 
Take it nice and slow. Around the corner, and there's the cell point. Okay, that should all start going away. Ooh, lovely job. 53 grand and negative 1,052 for bad environmental score. Well, that was a kick in the nuggets, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling, though, the reason for that, yes, it's Field 52. We don't actually have the information on that yet, so let's purchase that now for the princely sum of 1,050 euros. Lovely. And magically, yes, yeah, if I could have afforded to do that before we sold that stuff, that would have been a lot better. But, hey-ho, such is life. Uh, so that one, what does that actually... Uh, let's see, I need to do switch. Yeah, no, not that one. Unselect. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we environmental scores. So I need to get, uh, let's see, nitrogen needs to go up, which is be that field. Uh, we've also got weed control and tillage. Yeah, so tillage might go up once we hit it with the uh, cultivator. Nitrogen obviously will. Same for these ones. Crikey, why has that got no nitrogen thing listed on it? I'm pretty sure that's perfect. Maybe it's from the uh, previous thing. Uh, what do you call it? From the previous harvest. It might take a season to roll over for that. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's leg it out of here quick. Uh, we are going to stop off at the shop. Oh, crumbs. Uh, yeah, we're going to stop off at the shop quick because there's a few things I want to purchase since we've got a bit of money. Who's around here? Uh, some of it we will be able to bring back with us, I think, and some of it not. Oh, that reminds me, we do need to get a corn uh, harvester down here eventually for that corn header. Yes, okay, so let's turn that off and have a quick look in the shops at what's for sale. Now, this definitely is something we are going to buy. This is the uh, digger upper for sugar beets because we will be needing to do sugar beets uh, at some point to get sugar. So let's have a look at that. Okay, lovely. 70 horsepower goes on the back, should be fine. Okay, let us purchase it in its traditional colours of red and white. And to go with that, I don't think there's anything else we needed particularly. Oh, well, was this a mulcher? Hmm. And mulcher, that almost might be worth getting. It's 4.7 metres. I hadn't actually thought really about getting a mulcher, but eh, might be worth it. Let's have a quick look at mulchers. Where are they? Mulcher, mulcher, there you are. Are there any other options? Yeah, see, I'd probably go for something like that, maybe. Is that a front one or rear one? Probably a rear one. It's like five and a bit meters. We got these ones. Yeah. What was even that massive one? Oh, I could get a little diddy mulcher for the uh, front of the Avant. That's adorable. It goes up to one and a half meters. Well then. Yes. We got that, we got that. Yeah, I might actually, if I was going to get one, I'd probably grab that. Because it's nice and cheap. Although that one's not expensive either. Uh, yeah, that's the one that we had before that I thought was a mower, but wasn't. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Uh, so what were we going to... Oh yes, the other half of that um, beat pack set thing. Where is it? Here we go, yes. Uh, it's going to be 18 grand. Well... I suppose we could wait 16 grand. 
I suppose we could wait and see if it goes on sale later on. That might actually not be a bad idea. Yeah, that part we're not going to worry about getting because that's expensive and requires a um, worker, I think, possibly. And it's also kind of wide, so I think we'll just not worry about that. Uh, what else was I looking at actually buying? You know, I can't even remember what it was I was going to get now. Oh, I was thinking about an, an extra mower as well. There's a... Um, front one that can go with uh, yeah okay so as it turns out besides that one thing there we're not actually buying anything else at the shop so I'm going to drive back to base back to the old farm and uh, see you all probably in March depends on when this clears up and there is something actually to do uh, well we do need to feed the cows so I suppose we could do that quick I've been looking at uh, potential bits of land to purchase for um, what's its um, productions and things. We might get this bit of land down here. It's fairly cheap. It's like 15 grand. We could put a couple of small things on there. Uh, there's a little patch up at the top of our um, uh, behind our greenhouses that I could put something small on as well. So that is an option. Yeah, this drives so much better without all that weight on the back of it. <laughs> Assuming I can stay on the road and not get stuck on the uh, curb there. <laughs> yeah, I need to check our fields too, because I thought they'd all been fertilised except for the grass one. Can't really do anything about it in the snow, but it's not going to hurt to run over and check. Zoom in here quick. And for now, we'll just park this in here. I'm not really using this storage for what it's supposed to be used for. It's a pallet storage place, so we'll just leave that there. Uh, this one. Yeah, perfect nitrogen, perfect pH. That's good. Let's run over to this one. That is also perfect okay so it's going to be when it gets harvested that it updates the nitrogen scale side of things i believe so yeah we'll uh, we'll get an update on that next time now a cultivator is that a i don't think that's a shallow cultivator let's check just quick cultivators where are you there you are no, it's just a standard cultivator. If we had like a disc harrow or something, then that would count as shallow cultivation, which is better for uh, the seeds and everything. Uh, not seeds, but um, what do you call it? Um, uh, the environmental score. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab a couple more bales. In we go. Now, I have pondered also getting sheep, particularly while we've got uh, a lot of bales there from the contracts, but I'm going to hold off for a bit, perhaps until we can get the alfalfa sorted out, just to see if they'll take that. And if they do, groovy. If they don't, well, we've always got grass out the back and there's going to be tons of hay contracts, so... Come on, let go. Lovely. So the cows now have 9,000 litres of food. Lovely. I wonder what the price of milk is at the moment. Let's have a quick look. Milk. Probably gone right past there, haven't I? Pretty, yep, I have. It was probably way up at the top. There it is. Uh, I mean, we're not that far off, 1300. Yeah. What about butter? That is definitely down here. Butter and cheese. 1735 for the cheese. And we're at 30. We're at 35 right now. Okay. I wonder how much it takes to make cheese. I should have stayed in the menus. 
because <laughs> we've got a little dairy thing right here right now uh, three milk makes two cheese so for our 3,000 milk we get 2,000 odd litres of cheese which isn't terrible yeah if I'm going to make something to sell it will be the cheese but that's fine okay uh, well I'm going to reverse out of here park this thing up again and uh, what are we going to do oh we're going to do a couple of modifications on the tractor as well I think because uh, it could use a front three point link now and what was the other thing see if we can do an engine upgrade on it again as well I'm not sure what we uh, what we actually have in it at the moment Ooh, we're going to need to think about petrol as well and do some repairs so it's a good thing we're doing this in the wintry months when we can't do much anyway okay repair it for 700 and let's see we've got the 120 in it 10 grand would get us 130 11 is 152 17 would get oh crikey we can go all the way up to 194 for 20 grand hmm that's tempting because I don't really want to yeah we'll we'll wait on that for a bit set that back to uh, what was it that one yes uh, we are going to get though the uh, if I can figure out where it is where are your patches not that one that one there we go so it's five grand but I think that will be handy in the long run lovely there's nothing else we particularly need but that will mean we can put uh, extra weights on the front as needed plus uh, when we get to doing the sugar beets the uh, where is it sugar beet the two bits of kit we've got that'll be 70 horsepower and that'll be 70 horsepower as well so we might have to run them independently but they might run together at the same time but either way we'll have um, the thing on it and plus when we get more coffee we can sell as well so that's all good uh, how are the greenhouses doing let's run over and check on them quick too pop at the fence or wave at the cows hello cows most of you are indoors i'm sure it's a bit chilly out so uh, oh i need to put more water in this one don't i well we've got another four um, things of coffee beans we could sell and oh i think that one just pooped out another 700 of that yes it did lovely so that's good okay well i'll get some more water in the old coffee bean production there and uh, we'll see you back in march sometime i think and we are back and as you can tell spring has definitely sprung <laughs> well that snow went away very very quickly which is lovely so uh, we are now on our way to do a contract oh yes we had a fertilizing contract pop up over here at fuel 50 so i figured i'd nip down and do that quick and uh, i bought the front loader with me because we are going to pick up uh, potentially another bag of fertilizer uh, we don't we can get a liftable one like before but um, we would need some way to carry it back so I figure, you know, this is the easiest thing to do, just plonk the old front loader back on. And, uh, yeah, so here we are at the field. Now this should be a pretty easy contract, I'm thinking. Just give it a quick old whiz round. Get some uh, extra cash. Now it is quite a big field, but... Uh, uh, we are getting like two grand for it so that basically will cover the cost of another bag of fertilizer <laughs> but that's perfectly fine and I have been thinking about what to do because we've got a little bit of money and part of me wants to suddenly start spending it and buying things now there is a trailer I was looking at which I kind of really want to get because it will help with the uh, coffee bean transportation and collection and pickup and everything 
uh, but also we have a field that I want to purchase as well. One of the small ones next to us is about 33 grand. So, uh, and it's already got canola in it. So if we get that quick now, then uh, we would be able to potentially get the field information on it and get it limed and uh, fertilized quick before the um, crop grows too much and then we'd have a, a lovely bit of canola come in which we could either sell later in the year or save possibly for pigs because we are going to need that for pigs at some point but i have no idea what pigs um, take on this map particularly uh, obviously they're going to take some sort of root crop and uh, some sort of protein like uh, canola or soybeans. I think canola counts as a protein. Something like that. But uh, yeah, we'll have to have to investigate that a tiny bit further because there are some other crops that we can do here with uh, the greenhouse, which is lettuce, uh, red lettuce and um, watermelons as well. I'd be surprised if they would take watermelons, but you never know. Oh, that was handy. We finished the contract. Fantastic. Okay, let's zoom back in again. Come flying out of here. Chase the old 2CV again. It's still honking around at an impressive speed. <laughs> okay. Let's see, do we have anything else here? Oh yeah, I could pick that up as well, potentially. Yes. So, I think what we might do is switch the ob uh, objects, the items around. We'll plonk that on the back. Lovely, because that's probably the heaviest. Uh, we are going to buy a bag of fertilizer. We'll get that one, the old liftable one. 1800, yes. Okay. Grab that. Now, like I say, we don't need to. Uh... Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's it's light enough that we can actually pick it up and uh, do it. Oh, okay. That was unexpected. So apparently the uh, forks don't have a collision at the back or something. Very strange. Well, it just had enough. Uh, come on. I can't just... Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yes, so we are going to run back to the farm with this. And then figure out what we want to... Well, that was rude, wasn't it? Okay, so maybe that wasn't such a good idea after all. I wonder why it's doing that. That's being very rude. Can I still pick it up with this thing on the front? That is swinging like a very rubbery thing. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? What is the deal with that? How very peculiar. Well, I guess what we can do is wedge it in there and hope for the best. Can't see where we're going, but that's not important right now. This is totally not legal in any way, shape or form. Nobody saw me do this. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you back up at the farm in just a second, I think. And we are back again. And doing the same thing we were doing, it seems, at the beginning of the episode. We are heading down to the sell point again, to the market stall. Because we've got some cucumbers and some apples to sell. Now, I figured I'd come and do this now because... Uh, the crumbs don't tip over, you 
naughty, naughty wobbly van. Yes. <laughs> Crumbs, this is quite uh, unstable, is it not? <laughs> okay, let's stop in here quick and sell it all. Yeah, we're only going to get uh, a small amount because that's only 500 litre pallets of apples. But we will take it because it's all good. Any bit of money is a good bit of money. Once they actually finish selling. Come on. There we go. Six grand. Lovely. And we do need to... Where is it? Here. Cash in that contract that we didn't complete earlier, so that's good. Collect on that. Field 18 for Alexis. Hmm. That would be a quick grand. We could grab that as well. Yeah, why not? I can do that one later. Uh, but the main objective now is to purchase that trailer I was kind of mentioning before. Because we are going to use that to uh, sell some more coffee. Oh yes. We are selling a lot of the uh, unroasted coffee beans, but that seems to be quite a good source of income at the minute. While we wait for things to progress in other areas. So let us zoom around the back here. And open up the old shopperoo. I don't think there was anything on sale we wanted. No, nothing we can use there really. Okay, so this trailer is in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Aha, here it is. It is a modified version of the uh, Berkman KK3018 slash 27H trailer, which I think was originally a base game trailer. Uh, this one has different options now and also uh, increased capacity as well as, uh, what's the other thing, um, auto load as well I believe is what it does. So uh, we are going to change the colour I think. We'll get a nice blue one, that will match our um, van actually I think. Uh, let's check the wheels, is there a different option for them? Yeah, let's try that. That doesn't make any difference, does it? It's those ones that change colour. What colour wheels does my van even have on it? Ah, uh, who knows. Well, we'll go with that anyway. So we'll buy that for the princely sum of 13 grand. Now, it's currently got the 12,000 litre capacity in it. And I think that will be fine for right now. Oh, conveniently, the van has black wheels as well. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to grab this, whiz back to the farm, and uh, see you there once we are getting the coffee to pop in it. Alrighty, here we are back at the farm now. I've got the uh, doors open on the trailer there, and we're just going to back up, and hopefully it should auto-load. He says, hopefully. No, it's not auto-loading. Why are you not auto-loading? Is there a function for auto-load? Do I have to back up and... No? What if I close the doors and break everything? Now will you load? No, you will not. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the same trailer then. Because it does say on it that it takes coffee beans. Let me uh, zip around to the... Um, uh, oh, because I've got the tractor stuck in it, don't I? That's rude. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Tractor. Get that lime fertiliser spreader thing out of the way as well. We'll be needing that soon enough anyway. Okay. 
Hopefully this wasn't a bad purchase. Yeah, no, don't reverse it into the um, support beam thing. Okay, let's see what we can do to this. Customize, so discharge is manual. Capacity, yeah, fillable pallets. Tanks, bread, blah, 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 all the different options. Different types of pallets. Those are all base game ones. Should be fillable pallets. Hmm. I hope this is a, an automatic trailer. It should be. Unless I've got it confused with a different one, which I may not have installed. Hmm. Let's change that to automatic, just in case that uh, does anything useful. But if we check it on the menu quick, it does... Not that one, this one. It does definitely say it takes uh, coffee beans. I'm sure it does. If it eventually starts scrolling across the ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, take snow. Yeah, coffee beans raw. Okay. Let's try again. Doesn't have any extra functions on it, does it? No. Pigs here with this reversing malarkey. Okay, you're not filling up yet. Let's open the door. Yes, I would like to fill you up with delicious coffee beans. Okay, you're being rude. Maybe I have to load it manually. That is always a possibility. So I'll drive off the edge of this cliff. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll spin that around quick. And go get... Um, if we're only doing it one thing at a time. Hello, cows. Well, we need to plonk some more food in here anyway. Because they... Oh, in fact, they're out. Oh, crikey. And it... What? Why did you drive up the wall? That's unexpected. Maybe I shouldn't be parking it in a hay uh, hay bin. <laughs> okay, we're just going to drop these off and get the regular pallet forks. Drop them off, thank you. Regular pallet forks. zooming all over the shop. Let's get down here and grab a pallet and see if shoving a pallet into it is going to make it uh, do its thing. Because if it's not that trailer then I'm very confused. Now this of course will be very exciting fun trying to pick up one of these pallets with this thing again. I think we all remember how that went last time. But, I have faith in this little thing, so we will go for it. Okay. Moo indeed. Aha, there we go. So I still have to... Uh, maneuver them into it but it is is it going to show yes coffee beans raw thousand liters if i hop in there yep eight percent okay so i'm going to have to load these manually which is a mild annoyance but not the biggest problem in the world so let me do that quick i was hoping i could just uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, just back it up to it and it would pick them up for me, but sadly not. However, it should make them make it a little bit easier to uh, oh, crumbs load and transport. So yeah, I'll get this loaded quick and I'll see you back here in just a minute. All right, there we go. Twelve thousand liters is loaded. And hopefully it's not got the same weight as 12 pallets of um, coffee beans because that's going to be really awkward to drive if it is. But we shall take it down and sell it. Nonetheless, excuse me, Mr. Pedestrian. Coming through. Oh yeah, this is not nearly as wobbly now. I can only imagine how uh, weighed down it will be with uh, 12 pallets on the back of it. So yeah, this is going to be, I think, a little bit more useful. It wasn't quite what I was hoping, because I thought it auto-loaded straight from the uh, the ground, but I might be thinking of a... What? The Muppet? I might be thinking of a different version. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Mr. Brake Checker. Well done, you. Just for that, I'm going to not overtake that guy, because he's sped off like a... Uh, a champion speeder. <laughs> Even doing 80 kilometers an hour, I still can't really catch up to him, except he's slowing down for the bridge. Please don't suddenly be a train. Thank you. Good kill crumbs. Rear view. Interesting. Now I shall look into... Uh, see if there is an alternate version of this that I was thinking of and if there is and I can find it then yay I may switch them out at some point but if not then we oh crumbs well that sold quite quickly didn't it and suddenly 73 grand <laughs> okay right well back to the farm it is uh, before we do that, I'm going to purchase a couple of things. Namely, where is it? This canola field here. And uh, do we want this one as well? That is how much? Twenty? No, we're not going to do it. We're going to buy this one for 33 grand. Because we can. And then we are also going to purchase... Uh, clear, what? How do we have... We shouldn't have any economic what's-it for that. Wait, what field is it? Field 2, yeah. Field 1. Field 2. I shouldn't have any data for that, though. Yeah, wrong button. Now I'm really... Oh, now I can purchase it. Okay. But no, I've already got that one. It's this one that I want. Yes, okay. 350. So there we go. Now we've got the soil information for that. Splendid. So, now it's back to the farm. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the farm again. Uh, I left the trailer down near the um, coffee greenhouse. So what I can do in the future is periodically load it up with... Um, what do you call it? Um, I'm just trying to open that up a little bit. Uh, so I can periodically load it with um, coffee ground, coffee grounds, coffee beans. Yeah, that's going to come off. Yeah, oh well, never mind. Uh, yeah, so I can periodically load that. And once it gets full, then we can just take a bunch of it down and sell it. And that will be lovely. So, we are going to drop this off, get some feed in there for the lovely cows, so they can produce a slurry and milk. Reverse all the way out there, and we are going to just bung this round here. Now, I'm not actually worried too much about using the um, robot fertiliser, fertiliser? No, uh, the robot feed mixer. <laughs> Yeah, not too concerned about uh, using that, so uh, what am I doing? 
Uh, yeah, so it's, it's quite quite all right to leave that there. Uh, now I did discover... Oh, you, oh, you are emptying, lovely. Uh, I did discover that our silo actually takes lime and fertiliser. So uh, it's got fertiliser in it at the minute, 295 litres. So uh, I'm going to bung both of these in. Are you going to empty in? There we go. That is emptying in. Lovely. So we'll bung both of those in there. That way um, we can just get uh, from here. And um, we won't have to worry about doing anything too much of that like that with bags and stuff and um, when we get them in the i will take it around there i swear i will uh, when we start getting it in the future we can just drop it straight in here from from now on that should be fine i was actually unaware this did that the smart move would be to um pop it in the uh other thing over in the corner but hey ho we're doing this now because it, it just occurred to me saying while I'm doing that, we've got this shed, which is technically a bale storage shed. So, yeah, I don't know. My mind's all over the place is what it is. <laughs> but let's hop in this because we've got a little bit of work to do with lime and fertilizer. So let's grab this. Fill the rest of it up from there. It's probably going to be a teeny bit left over we'll come back and grab that presently because first order of the day is this canola field now i think we're oops, driving over somebody else's field there i think we are still good to drive on it Ooh, i wonder i think i might have actually killed a bit of it there oh, i am okay we are not safe to drive on it. Okay then. Well, luckily, this tractor, I believe, takes um, thin tyres, uh, narrow row crop safe tyres. So let's plonk it in here. Not that one, this one. Trelleborgs, care wheel, now. There we go. Narrow tyres. Okay, let's plot them on it for are we going to get a grand back i think we will okay well there you go who knew so let's grab that back on the back again zing out here and uh, where are we there we go see hopefully these will be okay we can just test it on the corner of the field again without driving too far onto it okay i think we are safe yes splendid okay so we should get the old uh, field info pop up in just a second there it is now i'm pretty sure this is going to be just a bit too wide for this spreader so we're going to crank it forwards run down this side and then run back up the other side and hopefully hit it with uh, enough lime that it will be safe if i miss a little bit on the corners that's okay probably gonna miss just oh no we might be okay there we go we got that one done lovely <laughs> so we're going back for more lime because we're going to do our field as well the what our field that's our field where is my brain at today <laughs> okay so if we back up in here now we should be able to get the rest of the lime out Perhaps, no, yes. There we go. Okay, lovely. Yeah, so the canola field now has um, lime on it, and we will just check that on the way past because I'm uh, a little concerned. 
yep ph is golden lovely okay so the next thing we are going to do is ph this lovely field this is our soon to be um alfalfa that's the name of the crop now we'll start down here i'm sure i'll have to refill this we should make it down one side i'm guessing but we'll see come on forwards there we go oh crumbs that's have quite a big range on it it's a little bit bigger than i was expecting is that actually the whole field it seems to think it's the the whole field okay yeah this god blimey this thing is so in need of lime we may actually be getting two loads uh, two extra loads I mean because that is yes I mean, it's a big enough field anyway but what we oops missed the gate uh, the idea with this is we're going to cultivate that in uh, probably next episode we'll start doing that uh, we'll get it cultivated in switched over to um, alfalfa because I think we can plant that now and uh, then when that grows we will be feeding that to the cows yes please lime instead of hay because uh, it's just a tiny bit better for them in terms of what they'll produce not massively so but um, it's an extra 10% I think on top of what hay does so with an extra 10% I figure um, that will be good so there's no need to do full TMR which yeah, not exactly cheating <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah I'm not uh, not taking full advantage of their maximum output but you know for the sake of not having to worry about doing um, hay and straw and silage as well then uh, I think it's a fairly decent trade-off because it's only a hundred percent I think I might actually check that once we've finished here. Yeah, we wouldn't have made it around and back, but... Almost done. Almost done. Okay, last little run of lime coming down now. I missed a bit by the tree. Come on, tractor. You can do better than that. I should have started at the top. I don't run out of line, please. I just want to get it finished. Oh, you rude, rude field. <laughs> okay, the last 500 litres of lime we have in storage. And of course it's starting to rain now too, and I still missed a bit. Well, maybe precision farming is okay with that. Yep, seems to be. Okay, so I didn't actually need to bring that last bit down here, but better safe than sorry. So, uh, what is next? Oh, fertiliser. A little bit of fertiliser on the old um, stuff there. Whatever it's called, I forget now um, my brain is not working okay so I'm going to try a quick test here we are going to back up into this little area here and unload not enough space okay so it didn't I was hoping it might let us automatically unload in there yeah there we go so we'll just have to nudge that in there later uh, let's see, we've got a uh, little bit of fertiliser in here. Solid fertiliser, there we go, we'll get that in. Grab the little bit from that bag and just throw that quickly onto the uh, canola field and then call it good. While that's loading, let's have a look at the cows. Cows, lovely, lovely cows. 
uh, yeah, hay is 80% alfalfa slash alfalfa hay is 90% and TML would be 100%. So considering the ease of doing alfalfa, uh, I figure I'll just um, do that. We might turn it into hay, we might not. Uh, but yeah, we'll get the alfalfa bales on the go and uh, everything there should be fantastic. So I am going to fertilize this field as best as I can. And uh, yeah, this is where we are going to call it for the stream for the episode. <laughs> so yes, I do hope you've enjoyed whatever this was. And uh, if you have, please do hit the old like button. And even if you haven't, please hit the like button anyway. It's all, all in good fun and it all helps. <laughs> Yes, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do consider hitting the old subscribe button. Every every person counts, and every sub is important. There we go, that is all done. And uh, if comments are always welcomed, and if you'd like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And on that note, I shall bid you all farewell. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>